On this election day in many communities, presumed Republican presidential nominee Mitt Romney is back in his native state. You still have time, by the way, to get to the polls. They are open until 8 o'clock tonight. 70 counties around the state are holding elections, many of them school millages. But in Lansing, the focus is on the fall presidential election. 7 Action News reporter Smitha Kaloki was in the Capitol for Romney's speech. Campaign season is about to kick it into high gear, and Romney supporters say they heard what they want, but they still want more. After a quick introduction from Governor Rick Snyder, our next president, Mitt Romney. The crowd was on its feet. Hundreds packed the Dart Auditorium at Lansing Community College as the presumptive Republican nominee made his first appearance in Michigan since winning the state primary. His four years had been a disappointment for all of us. And they've been a catastrophe for a lot of us. Governor Mitt Romney came out swinging, saying President Barack Obama was returning to old school liberal policies. Liberal policies didn't work back then. They haven't worked during these last four years. And they will not work in the future. Romney offered few details, but said he'd revitalize manufacturing, improve education, and repeal Obama's health care plan, which is welcome news for one medical student who was unsure how he'd vote. Maybe a little more towards Romney, but, you know, I guess I'll have to, I'm, I'm still on the fence, though. There's still many months There's ahead still of us. still a lot of time. Others said their top choice didn't disappoint. The government needs to reinvigorate itself, uh, reinvent itself. Um, the past, it didn't work then, it's not going to work in the future. But outside, protesters rallied across the street. The reality is he doesn't care about people, you know. He doesn't care about the working class. He cares about uh, people who already have money and how can they save their money and how can they become richer. And Democrats were also ready to pound. Governor Romney will say whatever he wants to say to whomever, and he needs to be held accountable. Noticeably, Romney backed off his comments from Monday when he said he'd take a lot of credit for the auto industry's comeback despite opposing the bailouts. He made no mention of the bailouts, only saying he would bring a new vision for the country. The challenges of the present and the promise of tomorrow must be met by a new and bold vision for the future, and I will bring it. From Lansing, Smitha Kloki, 7 Action News.